The Level Crossing Removal Project, also known as the LXRP, is a leading infrastructure project currently in progress on Melbourne's rail network. The purpose of this project is to remove many dangerous and congested level crossings from the Melbourne rail system to increase train services while eliminating congestion and danger between trains, motorists and pedestrians, whilst also creating thousands of new employment opportunities for people around Victoria. Currently, there have been 69 level crossings that have been removed from the Melbourne Rail Network. In 2014, Daniel Andrews promised the removal of 50 dangerous and congested level crossings in Melbourne, with some having multiple accidents on record. In 2015, the state government established the Level Crossing Removal Authority, also known as LXRA. This was the organisation responsible for the planned removal of the level crossings around Melbourne, with the first one going being Burke Road at Glen Iris, removed in 2016. The level crossing removal project at first was a smaller project, but has now become a bigger scale project. Over time, with multiple Labor 1 elections, it has squiggled itself into being one of the biggest projects in Melbourne's rail history, also being more recently classified as part of Victoria's big build. They remove level crossings in four main methods, rail over road, the infamous sky rail, road over rail, which is a road bridge, rail under road, a trench, and road under rail, a road underpass. The LXRP is currently responsible for removing all the level crossings on six lines as well as many on other lines, totaling to 122 level crossings around Victoria, with some being more congested and dangerous than others. The current plan of 122 removals includes 0 on the Sandringham line, 30 level crossings on the Frankston line, consisting of a few different projects. These include the Glen Huntley project, the Ormond Bentley project, the Hyatt project, the Cheltenham Mentone project, the Latrobe Street Mentone crossing closure project, the Parkdale project, the Mordialic Aspendale project, the Edith Vale to Bond Beach project, the Carrum project, the Seaford project 1, and the Seaford project 2. There are 12 level crossings that have been removed or are in planning on the Dandenong Corridor in two different projects, these being the Dandenong Corridor Skyrail project and Webster Street Dandenong, which is a single crossing. The Cranburn Line duplication project, which duplicated track from Dandenong South to Cranburn, removed five level crossings, two as a sky rail, and three being removed with road bridges replacing the crossings. One of those road bridges was Evans Road, Lyndhurst, which prior to being removed had been closed due to having a terrible road condition. A further 12 level crossings on the Pakenham Line past Dandenong have or are being removed. These include the South Gippsland Highway Project, the Progress Street Project, the Hallam Road Project, the Webb Street Project, the Clyde Road Project, the Beaconsfield Project, including three level crossings, the Cadinia Road Project, and the Pakenham Project, consisting of a further three crossings. There are two level crossings on the Glen Waverley Line, which have been listed for removal, with both projects being completed. These are Turak Road Kuyong and Burke Road Glen Iris which was the first removal of a level crossing under the LXRP in 2016. There are four level crossings on the Ringward Corridor listed as part of three projects. The Union Project, the Blackburn Project, and the Heatherdale Road Project. Moving on to the Belgrave Line, there are three removals consisting of two projects, including the Bedford Road Project and the Bayswater Project. Five removals were listed as part of the Lilydale Line Project, with two being removed in the first stage and a further three in planning and construction. Four are listed on the Hurstbridge line, including the Grange Road Project, the Lower Plenty Road Project, the McLeod Project, and the Hurstbridge Duplication Project. Six are listed on the Mernda line, being part of the Bell and Preston Project, as well as two separate crossings at Reservoir and Keon Park. There are 13 crossings on the Upfield line being removed, surprisingly only under three projects, being the Brunswick Project, the Coburg Project, and the Campbellfield Project. There were two crossing removals on the Craigieburn line, being Buckley Street Essendon and Glenroy Road. Eight crossings have been listed for removal on the Sunbury line as part of the Sunbury line project, 
and the Diggers Rest Project, as well as the removal of Gap Road in Sunbury. Interestingly, a big focus has been put on V-Line's Melton Line, removing seven crossings along the corridor between Melbourne and Melton West, incorporating the Deer Park Project, which is nearly complete, and the Melton Project. Between Melbourne and Newport, there are two planned removals, being Yarraville and Spotswood, while on the Williamstown Line, one crossing has been removed at Williamstown North. Branching onto the Werribee Line, there are three planned removals and three which have been removed, as well as one level crossing on the Altona Loop. These are all part of the Coorate Creek Road Project, the Newport Laberton Project, and the Laberton Werribee Project. A big part of the LXRP is also rebuilding multiple outdated stations and converting them into premium stations, with more accessible features like ramps, lifts, and overpasses, as well as water fountains and bike stabling facilities. Many projects have also included the construction of new linear reserves with playgrounds, shared trails and skate parks. After the 2014 promise of 50 level crossings, there have been multiple further additions to the project, making it almost two and a half times as big as originally planned, with the project now responsible for the removal of 122 level crossings. In 2018, an extra 25 crossings were added to the project, and a further 10 in 2021. In 2022, the project had another big addition with a further 25. You might be wondering, 50 plus 25 plus 10 plus another 25 equals 110. So where does 122 come from? Well, along with the 110 grade separations, there have also been a few road closures due to the roads having minimal traffic, along with a couple of crossings which have been removed as a bundle with others on the list. For example, the crossing at Park Road in Cheltenham got removed in 2020, even though it wasn't on the list of 50 or 75. The crossing at Park Road Road was removed due to its close proximity with Charman Road, which was on the original list of 50. Part of the reason that the LXRA are closing crossings with less road patronage is to claim they've removed all the level crossings on a certain line. If all the crossings on the current list are removed by 2030, the Frankston, Cranburn, Pakenham, Lilydale, Sunbury and Werribee lines will all be level crossing free, relieving congestion and making our rail network safer. As of the 18th of February 2023, the Level Crossing Removal Authority has removed 69 level crossings. This includes Union Road, Surrey Hills and Mont Albert Road, Mont Albert. This project is a special one, as it is the only project so far to remove two stations and rebuild them into one. With the close proximity of the two stations and the newer requirement for non-curved platforms, the Level Crossing Removal Authority decided to merge the two stations into one, holding a pole which ended up with a new station being named Union after Union Road and also uniting the two station suburbs into one. Other crossings on track for removal this year are Nareem Road and Glen Huntley Road Glen Huntley, with this crossing also being a tram square, Warrigal Road and Parkers Road Parkdale, Cams Road Cranburn, Webb Street Narry Warren, McGregor Road, Main Street and Racecourse Road Pakenham, along with an extension of the Pakenham line to a new station at Pakenham East, and Mount Derham Road Deer Park. During works, the Level Crossing Removal Authority authorises temporary shutdowns of parts of the line they are working on, replacing trains with rail replacement buses and sometimes altering train timetables. This is to allow work to happen around the level crossings that require workers to work on the rail corridor. Longer shutdowns also take place when major works such as removing and installing rail, doing groundwork and the actual removal of the level crossings take place. There have also been one-of-a-kind closures such as during the removal of the Bell and Preston level crossings due to the maintenance facilities and depot at Epping. The facilities at Epping are a key part of the network, so the line needed to be shut for the least amount of time possible so trains could continue to access the facilities. So the level crossing removal authority came up with a solution. The authority built one Skyrail track first and moved both city-bound and outbound trains onto the same track in between Thornbury and Regent allowing for trains to access Epping while the second track and stations were being built. While this solution did limit capacity, it was certainly better than replacing the majority of the line with buses. And while we aren't too sure whether this approach will be used in any other projects, 
it would certainly be a good idea for projects with V-Line and freight services. For example, if single track Skyrail was used on the upcoming Pakenham project, it would allow for Gippsland bound V-Line trains and the Maryvale paper train to run fully into the city, as opposed to replacing them with buses or not running services at all. Between 2000 and 2014, multiple removals occurred on command from the Labour and Liberal governments, those being Middleborough Road, Box Hill, Springvale Road, Nutterwadding and Springvale, Mitcham Road, Mitcham, Rooks Road, Mitcham, Cranbourne Narry Warren Road, Narry Warren, Western Point Highway, Lynbrook, Westall Road, Westall, Summerton Road, Summerton, Cororoke Creek Road, Altona, two removals on Anderson Road in Sunshine, and Taylors Road, Keelor Plains. However, that's only 12 removals compared to the 69 LXRA have removed in a seven year range. During level crossing removal authority projects, especially Skyrail, signals may be changed or tinkered with, including upgrades from searchlights to LEDs and crossing upgrades. This is also when LXRA and Metro test various pieces of equipment to figure out if they should include them in their equipment standard. Some of the equipment tests are new poles and cantilevers, Siemens E-bells, red background crossbucks, and Siemens S60s. They also install some already used equipment around to meet standards including Westinghouse LED lights, General Signals E-bells, Siemens S40 gate mechanisms, and Weston Cullen Hayes 3593E mechanisms. Sections of the Hurstbridge line are currently being duplicated, with the section of track between Diamond Creek and Waddle Glen containing several occupational private crossings with boom barriers. This has led to a few strange arrangements, where boom gates are technically too close, some being 0.5 metres closer to the track. Normally this goes against crossing regulations, however waivers have been signed to allow for this and increase the safety of local residents. There is 3.5 kilometres of new track to be laid as part of the duplication, including a new 50 metre bridge over Plenty Road, with the project due for completion in mid-2023. A few stations are also in the process of being upgraded and having platform extensions to accommodate the duplication. With a rail corridor either being raised or lowered, the former rail corridor can be used for other purposes. While this doesn't really apply to the trench stations built by the Level Crossing Removal Authority, Skyrail leaves a lot of space for community purposes. An example of this is the Level Crossing Removals at Bell and Preston. Under the new Skyrail, the Level Crossing Removal Authority have built a bike path, playgrounds, benches and other community assets. As well as this, a large amount of native flora has been planted on the sidelines of the bike paths and playgrounds. The authority will also sometimes need to keep original station buildings for heritage reasons. An example of this is the heritage listed station at Mentone, which is being repurposed as part of the garden as a shelter area. The Level Crossing Removal Authority have also donated various pieces of equipment and infrastructure to different heritage railways, including sleepers, signalling equipment, and various station structures. Some examples being the donation of concrete sleepers and an old station building to the Yarra Valley Railway, which runs along part of the old Hillsville line, and the donation of two gated signals to Puffing Billy. Looking into the future of a level crossing removal project, there's a high chance of more crossings being added to the removal list next election, as the Labour government tries to win again, possibly taking the project from 122 removals to 135 or 150. However, if the Liberals win, the future of the level crossing removal authority is unknown. Thank you all for watching this one off documentary style Tassie Transport video, and thank you all for 1000 subscribers, and thank you to Moot Transit. Melbourne Trains, Roll Rover, and myself, Ethan, for the help with vocalising the video. Bye!